Tradition 11 for Groups. Hello, I'm an addict named Bill. Welcome back to our NA Tradition Study for Groups. Our 11th tradition says, our public relations policy is based on attraction rather than promotion. We need always maintain personal anonymity at the level of press, radio, and films. You can follow along on page 206 of the Guiding Principles book. Groups are the face of NA as much as they are its heart. For the most part, groups are not engaged in the kind of public relations work that service bodies undertake. But interacting with an NA group is often the first or only experience members of the public have with NA. Our group's relationships with the facility in which we meet the neighbors around the meeting, and the businesses we frequent all reflect on NA as a whole. Anytime we interact with the world beyond our meetings, we are PR. Simple things being clear on our group's conscience, knowing how to contact the facility, and having designated group members who interact with them, being consistent and on time with our payment, and leaving the space better than we found it, build relationships that last. When we are responsible and consistent, we build trust. The trust we build in the community makes people more comfortable with NA, makes it easier for us to find meeting space, and helps us gain access to addicts in hospitals and institutions. Our practice of goodwill helps the fellowship to grow. When we are approached with questions, it's good to be prepared. If we are clear as a group and as members about what NA is, what we do and what we don't do, our explanation can be simple and clear. When we are well versed in our traditions, we make it easier for others to respect our traditions and to respect us. When our group meets the curiosity of its neighbors with a friendly curiosity about the world around us, our communications can be more than one-way information delivery. We are always seeking ways to reach the addicts around us. And as we inform others about what NA is, we also find out more about how we can reach out. Most of all, when we foster goodwill with those around us, we make NA attractive and secure as a part of the community. In our groups, Tradition 11 has more to do with how we carry the message than about our relationship to other organizations or, quote, at the level of press, radio, and films, end quote. In our group, we create an atmosphere of attraction. We remind one another to practice personal anonymity as well as keeping confidences, and we strive to welcome and inform anyone who is new or observing what NA is about. We don't tell people how to share, but we create an atmosphere of recovery, a group format, and a group conscience that makes room for all to feel welcome, share honestly, and find hope in Narcotics Anonymous. A safe, secure atmosphere of recovery is attractive. We all are responsible to ensure that addicts feel welcome and have the opportunity to experience Narcotics Anonymous. Before we got clean, many of us were accustomed to seeing others as a means to get something. It can take some of us a while to regard each other with respect and care. In our groups, we come to understand one another's humanity. When a group ensures that a newcomer is approached by members who are trustworthy and concerned, we protect the addict and the fellowship. Carrying the message is an act of faith and courage. There is a balance between not promoting NA or ourselves and carrying a message of hope. We allow our experience to speak for itself and trust that others will hear what they need. We don't sell recovery like a used car. Our job in carrying the message is not to present a sales pitch, but to share experience, strength, and hope. We make NA available to all addicts. We cannot force recovery on anyone, no matter how badly we want recovery for them, and we don't need to make false promises or guarantees to be attractive. Our message of hope is strong and true. We don't need to promote NA in order to share a powerful message. We share our experience and trust others to find what they need. You can find the questions for Tradition 11 on page 207. I will give you a bit more of a summary for Tradition 11. The 11th tradition of Narcotics Anonymous emphasizes that the organization's approach to public relations is rooted in attraction rather than promotion and underscores the importance of personal anonymity in all public, including those involving the press and media. Groups serve as both the face and heart of NA, as interactions with them often form the first experience that the public has with the fellowship. To enhance their relationship with the community, groups should cultivate goodwill through responsible actions such as maintaining clear communication with meeting venues, being punctual with payments, and leaving meeting spaces clean and better than they were found. Trust built through these actions facilitates positive perceptions of NA and aids in finding meeting spaces and accessing addicts and institutions. Clear communication about what NA is and is not is essential, enabling the group to succinctly explain its purpose while remaining respectful of the traditions. A spirit of curiosity fosters two-way communication, 
allowing groups not only to share information about NA, but also to gain insight into the community's needs. Additionally, groups must create a welcoming atmosphere for newcomers to promote recovery as an attractive option. Members are encouraged to respect one another's humanity and promote an environment of safety and belonging. This approach affirms the importance of carrying a message of hope while consciously avoiding promoting NA as a product. Members are encouraged to share experiences, strength, and hope authentically without embellishment or false promises. The message of recovery is resilient and compelling, capable of standing alone without aggressive promotion. Ultimately, the responsibility of the group extends to ensuring newcomers feel welcomed and protected while allowing them to make their own decisions about recovery. By fostering relationships within their communities and sharing their experiences, NA groups contribute to a lasting impact and facilitate personal healing for those struggling with addiction. Time to touch on something that is controversial. Remember, this is my opinion as an NA member and doesn't reflect on the fellowship as a whole. Usually, when Tradition 11 is read at a meeting, you will almost always hear someone yell out from the back row in social media or in TikTok, Snapchat, whatever. No, I'm not endorsing those platforms in any way, just an example. Now, I believe wholeheartedly that this tradition intention is to ensure that our members in the fellowship as a whole are not put in a position of public scrutiny and that the focus remains on the program and the message rather than individual personalities. Uh, the use of social media by Narcotics Anonymous can be a complex issue in relation to this tradition. Here are some considerations. 1. Anonymity. Members must ensure that their participation on social media does not compromise their anonymity or the anonymity of others. This means being cautious about sharing personal information and maintaining a clear distinction that they are posting content as an individual NA member. Ensuring people can clearly understand the content is posted as an individual rather than Narcotics Anonymous seeking publicity. 2. Attraction versus Promotion If a NA member uses social media as a tool, it should probably be to attract individuals seeking help rather than promotion of self. Used in this way, I believe it can align with tradition. For instance, sharing success stories or recovery celebrations may be seen as attractive rather than promotional. 3. Public Perception Social media can easily amplify voices and opinions, leading to potential misrepresentations or misunderstandings about the NA program. Care must be taken to present NA in a way that aligns with the group's values and tenets. 4. Safety and Support While social media can provide a platform for connection among members and education, it can also pose the risk of putting a member who wants anonymity at risk of being exposed. In my opinion, the use of social media by members of Narcotics Anonymous does not inherently violate tradition, but it requires careful implementation and consideration of anonymity. It's a very thin line. Some groups may benefit to develop their own guidelines to navigate this evolving landscape while remaining true to our NA principles. Each group is autonomous. Things have changed a lot since the 1950s. If you know of a specific policy, I'd be interested to see it. I haven't found any guidelines with respect to this tradition in social media. After all, NA does have a website that is a very useful tool. Again, this is just one addict's opinion, and I know not everyone will agree. That's okay. Our diversity is one thing about NA that I love. Thanks for listening.